Welcome back to Appreciating Comic Book Art, The Ultimates 3, Issue 1, Black and White by Joe Matarera. Now, I'll tell you, I never really got into The Ultimates all that much, but the art alone drew me into this book when Matarera was down there. If you look at this gigantic fold-out cover, just take a second to really appreciate what you're looking at here. Look at the amount of work and detail. You know, and the pencils were fairly tight, but there was still an aspect of looseness to them. But there are some pencilers that are just, they pencil really tight, and then there are others that pencil really loose, and then it's kind of in the middle. I think Matt Herrera was probably one of the more in the middle kind of guys, but just had such a great look to the pencils. So one thing about the Ultimates is it was a much more mature book. As you can see, they are watching a sex tape between Tony Stark and Black Widow, I think. Now, it's been a long time since I read this, so I'm just going to, I'm not going to read it again. I'm just going to figure this out, but um, some awesome detail there. But I mean, you just, you take one page, it's just everyone sitting around watching this. Although I don't know why everyone's watching a sex tape together. That's kind of odd in itself, but you have this glorious action scene. Double page spread of Thor being blasted through the wall by Venom. It's really cool with the con contrast there with Wasp. I love the design on Hawkeye and the Ultimates, I'll say that. Never a big fan of the book itself, but the designs were really cool. This was a really cool page. I love up top. See, again, the design of Hawkeye there. But I love how he's breaking not only his panel, but he's breaking the second panel. And then Venom is also breaking his panel into Hawkeye's panel. It could get a little confusing, I guess, a little maybe crowded in there. And the colors really bring this out so you see what's going on. But it's just real inventive. It's a cool concept. You know, here's another panel breaking a panel. Actually, if you look at this page, almost everything is breaking a panel. And it kind of gives like a 3D effect, you know. The action is much more in your face. It's a really cool shot of Black Panther punching Venom there. They're really cool action scenes too because Monterey didn't use a lot of like action lines or lines defining like speed or intensity. It was all in poses. And I, I just really like that pose. It, it's simple, but there's a lot of force in it. The way he draws Venom's head being smacked back. It's just, you know, it's a lot of force in there without having to show a bunch of lines and speed lines and whatnot. It's just such great art. I love the backgrounds, too. A lot of the backgrounds can be a little bit more simple, but still... Be fairly detailed. You have all the under or under lighting of the trees here, so you don't have to draw a lot of the detail on the top of the trees because that'll be all hit by light, and the colorists can fill that in. Same thing with the buildings. You know, I mean, a simple kind of silhouette with a little bit of detail back there will suffice because you're showing distance. You're not going to see a ton of detail when you're seeing a guy flying through the air like that. You know. It's a very cool shot of Valkyrie. It's kind of very reminiscent to his Battle Chasers character. What was Red, Red Monica, I think it was. But very similar in look. That's just a great action shot. Again, another big double two-page spread. That's what you gotta love about these artists. They're not afraid to draw big. You know, Jeff Loeb, he wrote this book. One thing I always liked about Loeb, and I know some people complain about his writing, but I don't know, I've always liked it. I, I thought he's always been pretty good at telling action, too. His books aren't boring. That's one one of the nice things about it. It's, they aren't boring books. They're, they're entertaining. It gives you something to actually... You know, comic books are, it should be about action. Essentially, it's an action fantasy being told in a story form. It's kind of interesting with these pages right here. 
I think so far up to this point, everything has just been penciled. And now we hit like the contrast of the straight black in the background, which is really cool because it, it brings everything out. Kind of makes you feel bad for Venom right there. Completely wasted and withered away. <laughs> but you know, Ultimate Universe, so you can do whatever you want. But yeah, Hawkeye, they just made him a complete badass. Almost like Punisher slash Wolverine kind of attitude. So you go some really cool action through this book, and then you can, towards the end, you can break down, do some character building, build the story. So what I really appreciate about this kind of storytelling is you get the best of both worlds without being bogged down too much. Yeah, there's a lot of detail right there. I mean, to draw a city, like a crowded city street there, perspective-wise and everything, it's, it's not easy to do. It takes some time. It takes some knowledge. Really cool sequence. Quicksilver trying to catch the bullet here. I love how, if you see the fourth panel down on the left, I love how they're showing the bullet racing through, or... Quicksilver racing through all the people while he's trying to catch the bullet. Kind of really builds up the drama. Like he's almost got it. And the bullet changes trajectory. And goes running after it again. And just at the end he gets it. And realizes. Nope. He didn't. It's a pretty good, good dramatic scene drawing right there. Good expressions on the face. You can really tell the relationship between Quicksilver and the Red Witch, or Scarlet Witch, Red Witch, jeez. Should stop listening to my videos just because of that mess up. Maybe I'll edit that out. I don't know. This is awesome, bouncing back between the silhouettes of the black, kind of really giving a sense of dread, and just a really good shot right there. Kind of reminds me of, like, the Death of Superman issue scene. Yeah, it was a really fun look through this book. I mean, it's, it's a great book. Go out and find it if you can. I can't remember where I found it at. I think I bought it when it was brand new, but I bought it strictly for Madurara's pencils. He was actually one of the first artists, in my opinion, that kind of crossed anime with like more of the Western style, traditional comic book art. But he just has a really unique, awesome style. So, yep, there you go. If you like the video, give me a like, subscribe, and I will talk to you all later. Thanks for joining me.